I'm going to quickly revisit the Pool Life NST tablets. They recently changed owners. They were Segura, and now the parent company is Salinas. And if you don't know Salinas, they own other chemicals in the industry. And they've rebranded, in a way, the Pool Life NST tablets. And I'll go over some of the changes they've made, which is just mainly marketing changes. And you also find the Salinas tablets in the CCH Endurance brand. And the only difference is that the CCH tablet is sold on the commercial side. And it's made specifically for the chlorinator for this brand of tablet. And one of the nice things about the Pool Life Cal Hypo tablet is that you can put it directly into the skimmer. It has a very high pH, so it won't damage the equipment. In the skimmer, depending on the water flow, and if you have a variable speed pump, if the flow is set for low, medium, or high, we'll determine how quickly these tablets will dissolve in the skimmer. And typically the tablet should dissolve within one week, depending on the run speed of your variable speed pump, of course. And one of the main benefits of using the CalHypo tablet over the trichlor tablet is that the CalHypo tablet has no cyanuric acid, whereas the trichlor tablet by weight is about 50% cyanuric acid. So you're not going to be raising the cyanuric acid level in your pool by using the CalHypo tablets. And of course, every chlorine type has a byproduct. And these CalHypo tablets do have a byproduct of calcium. And they'll be adding some calcium to the pool water as you're using them. And the NST Prime tablets contain 70% CalHypo. And the same cautions apply. You don't want to use the CalHypo tablets in a trichlor floater or a trichlor chlorinator as this could cause an explosion. So you would only use these tablets either in the skimmer or in the chlorinator specifically designed for these tablets. And these are the same NST tablets sold under the Segura brand. The only difference is that they're called Prime and now they're part of a three-step process. This is step one. The CalHypo tablets will sanitize the pool. Step two would be adding a shock when needed. And then step three would be adding an algicide when needed. Here are some things to consider when you're using CalHypo tablets. One pound of CalHypo will add eight parts per million of calcium to 10,000 gallons of water. If you're going to shock the pool, I suggest using liquid chlorine. That way you're limiting the amount of calcium you're adding to the water when using these tablets. So that's a look at the Pool Life NSD Prime CalHypo tablet. And I definitely prefer using these on my pool route over the trichlor tablets. Leslie's Pool Supplies has been do-it-yourselfers and pool trade professionals' trusted partner since 1963, providing quality products and services to make pool care easy and solutions and expertise to do it right.